Welcome back to the writer's room. Okay, last week we talked about 10xing visibility, the opportunity to be passionate about getting our work out into the hearts and minds and hands of the people who need it. And we're gonna um, continue this discussion this week uh, with something really fun um, that I'm that I'm enjoying a lot. And um, I'm back to the you know 10x 10x rule, which I which I got a lot out of this book. And I'm just gonna read a little bit from this. Um, you know, it's just, it's just so, you're going to have to decide if you relate to it, but um, how many of you, if we were in a room, we were raising our hand, how many of you have felt pathologized, meaning someone has put you down, labeled you or judged you for being too something? Maybe you were too intense, you had too many feelings, you're too dramatic, you're too, um, driven, uh, you're too obsessive. Any of you have, I've, I've been, I've been, since I was a young child, uh, this was a pattern in my family to, um, you know, be, I felt judged for, for these parts of myself. And then I in turn internalized that and have judged the out of myself as an adult, which I'm now not doing in the same way. And one of the things that's helped me not doing it is to hear other people that are awesome and amazing and can articulate this idea and how they've let go of doing that to themselves. And in this book, The 10X Rule, I'm gonna just read this part because I love it so much. I've been called a lot of things due to my commitment to action. A workaholic, obsessive, greedy, never satisfied, driven, even manic. Yet every time I've been labeled, it's always been by someone operating at less than a fourth of the degree of action that I take. I've never had people achieve more, contribute more to the world, judge me for this. Those people know how to get where they want to go and they're busy doing it and don't have time to be judging and labeling me. But taking massive action means making somewhat unreasonable choices and then following these unreasonable choices up with even more levels of action. This will be considered by some, I love this, to be borderline insane, well beyond the agreed upon social norm. This is really important. If you don't create these new problems, these new challenges as you're growing from massive action, then you're not taking enough action is what, is what the author is saying here. You can expect to be criticized and labeled by others when you start taking massive action. And the second you start hitting it big, you'll immediately be judged by the mediocre. Now that's kind of harsh, right? We don't need to label other people either, but I really like the sentiment here because what's really going on, I have had this really strong reaction to people when they call me up and say, I know you're so busy, but would you, blah, blah, or I know you're so busy, but, and you know what? It's like, I'm not busy. I'm committed. I am focused. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessive about the next book and about serving more people and about making sure that all of you hit the bestseller list. I am. I'm very driven about that. Um, we, a number of years ago, didn't know for sure how to make sure that every single one of you in Thought Leader Academy hit the bestseller list the day of your launch. We cracked that code. And I'm glad I got obsessed about figuring out how can we do it without paying for ads, without hiring a PR person, without spending millions of dollars. How can we do it? And we now 100% of people who follow the structure hit the bestseller list on the day of their launch. A hundred percent of our clients who do that. It's not a, I hope so. I wish I hope it's, it's for sure. The process works. It's working a hundred percent of the time. And I'm glad I got obsessed with that. And so if, if anyone, you, oh, you're so obsessed with your book or you're so obsessed with your vision, yours. What if that is, is a, is a, badge of honor. What if that is awesome? And we don't have to make the other people wrong, get in a debate and ask them to agree with us. Like, that's not what this is about. Everyone can live their life the way they want to. But what I am really passionate about is making sure that I no longer, and you no longer pathologize yourself or take on any pathologization of society and culture and others. The reason people don't like to see you writing a book a year is because then what the hell are they doing with their time? Some people, not all people, lots of people are really happy for you. But if you do have some people in your life who are like, oh, you're just so this, or you're always doing this, um, I think there's a place we can take that on, especially as women, especially as mothers, especially as daughters and sisters and friends and feel like, oh, I need to like not be so driven and ambitious. And, you know, basically what people want us to do is make them feel comfortable with our choices to justify their own. That's it. That's what, that's what Grant's saying here. That's what I'm saying here. And I'm again, not all people, hopefully you have lots of people in your life who are cheering you on, but I've had a lot of people in my life judge my 
drivenness and my passion and my like intensity. And I really see my passion and drivenness and intensity as a freaking gift. Now I am able to serve more people. I'm able to contribute more of what's inside me. And I know that there's more inside you. And so I'm inviting you this week to just lean in to your passion, to your obsession. A great book is written out of obsession. It really, there's a book called The Grand Obsession about piano tuning, which I mean, what an obscure topic. It's a riveting, riveting memoir. I highly recommend. I can't recommend that book enough. I'm going to, when I was unpacking all my books, I found it again and I'm going to reread it because I loved it so much. And it's obsession is us. Now, when it, when it means we don't take care of ourselves, we neglect people in our life. I'm not talking about like becoming addictive and, and dysfunctional, but I'm saying like no longer. I offer you to say with me, I'm no longer available to apologize for my passion, my intensity, my drive, my obsession with my, my vision. I celebrate that in myself. I honor that. You don't have to do it like me, but I'm going to love myself up for this and to go all in. That's what I want for you. That's what I'm into right now. Come and join us at the um, Science of Getting Rich for Women Abundance Accelerator, because this is where we get to let go of these constructs and labels and judge with let go of the fear of it all. And you just have freedom to be the complete, full, insanely awesome badass that you are. I'm so excited for you. I cannot wait to do more of this work with you. Um, let's keep 10Xing, 100Xing, 1000000 Xing together.